Hey internet, this is a video to demo um, a proof of concept. My goal was to get the Max MSP Visi modules, the VJ modules, working inside Ableton um, using Max for Live. This is what I've got going. It's still a work in progress, so I'm going to add a grabber. Grabber just gets your webcam. Um, I'm going to name its output. I'm going to call it Grab. Uh, grab. Quirk of all of these plugins is you need to name the inputs and outputs. Hopefully in future versions that won't be an issue and they'll either automatically find each other or you'll be able to use pull down box. But at the moment it's a little bit clumsy but it's also very flexible so I'll just show you how it works. So here I'm going to add a viewer and I'm going to ask it to connect to grabber. Ding. Hello. So now we've got a screen. We can go full screen. I'm going to get rid of that for the moment. I'm going to add an effect, a Bacosa grabber, and I'm going to call it Output Grabber 2. Now I'm going to go to another track. I'm going to call this track Player. And I'm going to add a player, and I'm going to call it Output Player. I'm going to grab a folder of videos, drop them in here, turn it to monitor, and play a note. So player is a MIDI triggered video player. Um, I'm using a launch pad to trigger it. So let's make another track. Let's call it mix. Let's add a mixer. Let's ask for player and grab a two. Let's send its output to mix. Let's get a viewer. Let's ask, get its input to mix. And let's fade in our webcam. Yay. And all of these controls are MIDI controllable, uh, MIDI mappable and automatable. Um, all the plugins save their state, including the little names of the connections you make. So once you've got it set up, it runs really well. Um, so you can see we've got a mixer. So we've got one channel with a webcam, one channel with a player, and another channel mixing. It's got some cool mixing modes. Um, so I've done a whole, whole pile of the plugins. There's a zoomer, crossfader, viewer, slider. Oh, a particularly cool one is the recorder. So I'll grab a recorder. Let's drop it in this channel. And we're going to get in mix. And then you can, of course, MIDI map any of these buttons. So you can MIDI map a knob to select your codec and your um, video quality, which is pretty cool. Hit record, ask for a name. Name, oh. It records, dilly -dilly -dilly -dilly. hit stop. You got a video. So that's pretty cool, that works really well. Um, especially for real time. This is running on um, a non-pro 13 inch MacBook and it's running really smoothly. Um, um, Visi plus Ableton equals visible. I'm going to upload it to my website. Remember, it's still a work in progress. It still is a bit rough around the edges, but I am uploading it for people to hopefully get involved and help me make it something better. But so far, I think it's got a lot of potential and could make Ableton, you know, a viable platform for audio visual performance without anything else without any other visual software um, that's what I'm hoping to use it for um, cool thanks for watching zealousy.com go there you can download this play with it make it better upload it share it um, 